Welcome back my friends. Well, I'm going to have another go at uh, growing uh, the uh, Christmas potatoes uh, using my experiment using the uh, liquid plant foods. This is the last one. I haven't pulled these out. I don't touch them because of um, passing on any of the spores to the tomatoes in the polytunnel. The tomatoes outside have now got blight. I'm just picking the odd good tomato as they ripen. Uh, the one of the other containers had the tops pulled and then this one popped up uh, from right up the side which is free of blight at the moment so I'm going to leave it I don't know what liquid plant food went into this because I pulled all the labels out so it's take two now recently yeah, anybody on Facebook would have noticed that uh, I uh, collected a massive haul of fly tipped compost down a lane. There was 18 of uh, 35 litre pots. Not sure whether that's one of them. These are, this is just the spent compost that the uh, illegal growers use. And all I've done is add five litres of wormery to that one, five litres of banana concentrate, nettle concentrate and comfy concentrate. I get plenty so I don't mind. And this one, there's one small potato, uh, it's had nothing added so this is just the spent compost that's uh, not been used for anything. So we'll see how that goes. These are the uh, Duke of York. I did find some other potatoes that were half price, so they were £1.50 basically for the nine seeds and this time I've actually used one. So we'll see how we get on this time, a little bit more protection and I might even spray them for blight. The trouble is if I spray them for blight it costs me money. So I'm going to protect these, get them in the polytunnel if we don't get uh, any further lots of blight. Let's go and have a look at the uh, what I call Cotswold sand it's just the uh, small bits now I'm thinking about adding this uh, to some of my ingredients uh, when I make my own compost should be quite good I've got quite a few tubs of that there's probably 20 kilos in each of these there's those bags there as well I'm going to put them all in these buckets it's a lot uh, neater but I'm looking forward to using that well we're in the polytunnel now and I don't see any massive amounts of blight. Uh, that might be a little touch. I will keep an eye on it. And uh, that Gigantamo's uh, been hiding. I might have to uh, take that one off. And what I'm really proud of is this. Let's just move that leaf there. That pepper. I believe it's a sweet pepper. Not sure whether it's supposed to change colour, but ones that have tried to change colour have gone rotten from the bottom. So we'll have to see. The grapes have been absolutely gorgeous. Can't quite see it, but you've seen those anyway. But I do need to uh, get some of these things picked. Now I don't think that's going to be edible but what I'm trying to do is save seed and I'm going to try a different method of uh, saving these seeds on the cucumbers and tomatoes. I'll be showing that little experiment later on. Yeah, it's uh, maybe some little signs of blight but tomatoes look fine at the moment. Well, there's some of the haul for today. This is the Gigantomo, it's got some damage on it. Um, I have set the scan, oh no, it's, uh, let's see if I can do this. Oh, back into pound. So we attach the, there. So 1.74 pounds for my Gigantomo tomato. And, uh, just for a bit of fun I thought I'd uh, 
way the uh, cucumber let me just get that connected up right, so there we have it my biggest cucumber of the year that's, uh, that's 2.36 pounds we are on pounds yep yeah. and uh, I just thought I'd put a toilet roll there just as a comparison for the uh, for the pepper but as you can see it's uh, quite a good one we've got two money makers there two alicante and this year for me money makers have done the best real good clean tomato so big cucumbers big tomatoes lovely grapes courgettes growing well so by putting all my wormery castings into this polytunnel ready for the growing season has worked for me take care my friends happy gardening to you all till next time ta for now